What's going on guys? It's your boy Harmon Reacts back again with another reaction, yes. And as you guys read about the title, we're gonna be checking out three scary true horror true Chuck E. Cheese's stories. Yeah guys, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of TikToks recently and I've seen some uh from Chuck E. Cheese's from like the mannequins man, I don't know, they move so strange too. I mean they're they're old too, so I mean I don't know, they're still pretty creepy to me. Like I, I saw this one TikTok where this one guy went uh, inside the store to record, or he didn't. He didn't go inside, but he was outside recording through the window, and like everything was like there was nothing there. Like, and then there was like like uh, handprints on the windows. I don't know. It was so weird. Like, but anyways, guys, uh, let's check out the, this Chuck E. Cheese's stories. Let's go. Three, two, one, bow. Chuck E. Cheese's horror stories. Let's get it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Remember Chuck E. Cheese? That yes, old I arcade do. with the singing animatronics? Yes, I do. Of course you do. I just yep. found out they went bankrupt recently. It made me think yeah, back sure to did. my horrible experience there as a very little kid. I was no older than eight or nine. Right, right. It was like my third and last time ever at a Chuck E. Cheese. No way. Wait, this why? This specific why? location closed down years ago, but it used to be uh -huh. basically down the street from our old house. My mom took my little brother and I, and she let us roam free and do our own thing and play the games while she sat at one of the tables reading like most of the other parents. Okay. And I was playing this clown game where you had to shoot the clown's teeth out with this little cannonball shooter. I was oh, playing I the remember games that, that would get one me the too. most tickets for the prizes. Wow. I finished the game again, and the ticket shot out from the ticket slot. Okay. That's when I felt a tap on my shoulder. Who is it? I turned and jumped in my seat. Who is it? I was it? greeted with a giant Chuck E. Cheese mascot oh. in my face. He held out his hand for a high five, and naturally I gave him his high five with a smile. I don't he know, man. Let's just, let's just look at that. Just look at them right there. Like, don't they seem a little creepy? I don't know. They just look, look at his eyes. They're like, <laughs> they're going like two different directions. <laughs> Oh my god. Pointed at the tickets and gave me a thumbs up. Okay. I think I just continued laughing and smiling and said, yeah. Then he pointed at the tickets once more and motioned for me to follow him. So I ripped the tickets from the slot and followed the giant mascot. Okay. As we walked across the main floor, a couple other kids around like six came up to him saying, hey Chucky, and he gave them both high fives. I kept following him. Doesn't seem too bad right now. tell the other kids to follow, but he didn't. He would turn back every few seconds to make sure I was still following. Finally, we made it across the main floor by the stage towards this back area where he waved me to follow him through this employee's no, only don't door. don't follow him, don't follow him. What I remember it's a trap. how I was feeling. Let's just say a combination of weird and excited. We entered this narrow hallway and I felt kind of oh, special no. for being allowed access back here. Things are gonna get bad, guys. Keep in mind, I had the mind and maturity of a very young child. Okay. The mascot led me to this back room where he motioned for me to enter first, so I did. It was this small changing room type of room. It had a few lockers on one wall and nope. one long bench extending half the length of the room. That was it. He entered the room and shut the door behind us, and I noticed he locked it. That's when I became confused and afraid. Ooh. I thought he was taking me to get a bunch of free tickets. What could he possibly do in this empty room with me? Nope approached me, put his furry mascot hand on my shoulder, and then started rubbing from my shoulder to my arm. Then he seemed as though he tried to reach lower with both What's of his hands. What's he doing? That's... And I pushed him off and yelled, stop. That's when the person in the suit lifted the mask off his head, revealing some sweaty, middle-aged man underneath. He started to remove the rest of the costume from himself as he told me to be quiet. What is he... I sat there watching, shaking, and my plotting God. my way for the door. Oh my God, guys. When I thought he was distracted enough by the suit, I tried to run past him for yes. the door. Run, run, but he yes. He grabbed me and told me to stop. <sighs> he offered me all the free tickets I wanted if I just behaved. Nope. I started no to tickets. yell and nope. pound on the door. He tried to cover my mouth, but I think he gave up when he realized it wasn't worth the risk for him. Yeah, I just. I unlocked the door and ran back down yes. the hall in tears. You go, kid. Let's I go. I ran back to my mom, yelling at her about what just happened. She was distraught and went right to the front desk. The girl at the front desk seemed to be in a panic as well, and I think she called for her supervisor. Pretty soon, Ooh. all the music was stopped, and the place was put into a lockdown of sorts. No where way. all the kids were to go to their parents. A 
What? A bunch of workers ran to the back section, and eventually police showed up outside. I had to give my whole story to a crowd of like six people, and I was extremely nervous. The man in the Chucky suit was some random creep who snuck into the back section no of the way. to dress in one of the suits and apparently no. lure children to the back. Realizing and looking back at that now as a grown adult is disturbing yeah, and that's disgusting. But I was the victim of a predator. I never found wow. out if that monster was caught. Guys, moral of the story, even if it's a Chuck E. Cheese mannequin, do not follow him. Don't follow any strangers. Yeah, just, just don't. <laughs> Alright, story two. I used to work for Chuck E. Cheese very briefly when I was 21 years old. Okay. I was one of the janitors slash maintenance workers. Oh, he has no, to work late nights, huh? Inspiring. I was broke as hell and needed money. All my job really entailed was cleaning tables and keeping the play areas generally clean. Sounds right. easy, but there was never really a time to just sit and take a breath. There was always something Why to clean that? or take care of. Oh. I would also be in charge of turning on and off the animatronics, opening the stage curtains, fixing busted arcade machines, and things of that nature. Right, right. My shifts would always be later, from like 4 to 10 p.m. My location closed hey, at 8 on weekdays and 9 on weekends. Ooh. I would stay an hour, sometimes two hours after, to get the place in top shape ready for the next day. All right. So this one night, I was working past close like I usually did. Everyone had already left the building, including the other workers. So I was the last one in the building. I was dragging my cleaning cart around the arcade area. I had already turned off all the game machines. I was by that space-themed arcade machine where you had to press the button at the right moment to stop the light on the jackpot bulb. As I was passing by this machine, the space-themed music suddenly emits from the machine at a very loud volume, and all the lights start flashing again. What? I felt like my heart was in my throat. That's how much it startled me. Yeah. I fiddled with my keys to access the control port of the machine to turn it off again. I'd never seen anything like that happen before. Someone Suddenly has to be there. Freaked me out. Nope. Only because I was all alone in that big building pretty late at night. The weirdness didn't stop there, though. By this point in the night, I had already shut down the animatronics on the stage. So when I heard Chucky's pre-recorded no. laugh break the silence of the room. <laughs> heart started pounding Dude, that's again. a creepy laugh was short and cut off it almost sounded glitchy I ditched my cleaning cart to go backstage and check on the animatronics and I could see they were in their idle modes now meaning they would move their limbs and heads around every so often I would have to go to the control room to turn them off but this was the second strange thing to happen that night I started getting paranoid that someone else was in the building with me but probably I is. was interrupted and I noticed that the Chucky animatronic was facing me, and its head angled down perfectly to look as though it was looking at me. Oh my! It's bizarre. Dude, look how bizarre that I was finding it. That guys, look how creepy that looks. Doesn't that look creepy to you guys? <laughs> or is it just me? I don't know. It just looks so Sturgeon. creepy, man. I'm not crazy, but for my own peace of mind, with my eyes on the Chucky animatronic, I walked past it, closer to the control room. I waited there for a few seconds, and then the animatronic spun 90 degrees to face me once more, perfectly. No way. I swear it was once again looking right at me, and then the laughter emitted once again from the animatronic. <laughs> but in a creepy, what? glitchy, cut-off manner, this time much louder, obviously because I was right next to it. I ran to the control room to hit the switch to turn everything off on the stage once more. Yeah, just... I left the control room. And the Chucky animatronic was still facing the direction it was moments before. I left the stage through the curtain and just felt uneasy. I was starting to think maybe it was all just getting to my head. But that's when I heard the horrible laugh again come from the stage behind the curtains. <laughs> that was the last straw. I took my card, clocked out, and left. I texted my boss the next day that I had to leave early because I was feeling extremely sick. He said it wasn't a problem but he never mentioned anything about the animatronics being left on. And when I asked him if the animatronics had some kind of motion-detecting feature to look at people, he said no, they didn't. What? I'm not the most superstitious guy, but I firmly believe I wasn't the only presence in that building that night. And I don't <laughs> mean there was another person in there. 
Yeah, I have a feeling there was someone with them. There had to be someone there. This is a story from my childhood that I don't like to look back on too much. I was 13. My mom brought my two little sisters and I to Chuck E. Cheese one evening. Right. My sisters are four and six years younger than me, so it was more for them. And my mom just wanted me to come along. All right. My mom was playing games with my sisters, so I went to do my own thing. It was my only time ever at Chuck E. Cheese, so I was trying to play every game at least once. Right. Eventually, a worker in a red polo shirt came up to me. He was in his lower to mid-twenties, I'd say. He didn't seem that old. He asked me if I wanted some more tokens. I said, yeah, sure. He told me to follow him. Oh, he led again? me through this sketchy back door, which led to a back exit. I asked him where he was leading me. He said to his truck. He told no. me not to tell anyone, but no. he had access to all the tokens he wanted and just kept Nope. Once he said once he starts taking you outside, that's a no. Just be like, nope, uh, no, nah, I'm going to go back with my mom. Uh, I miss her so much. Yeah, don't follow anyone outside to their car. Nothing. He kept piles of them in his car. I stopped following when I realized he was leading me to his car. Yeah, yeah. I told him my mom would be mad. He tried to push that I follow him a little more, but gave up. Before I walked back inside, he asked for my AIM username, and I gave it to him, always excited for new friends on AIM. For those nope. of you who don't know, AIM was an instant messenger that was all the rage before smartphones and texting really became a thing. I don't remember his username. All I know it was something with his name in it, which was Ben. I would sign on to AIM every single night, including that night after Chuck E. Cheese. I signed in, and I had a few friends online. Next thing I knew, I got a message from Ben. From him, yep. So I added him to my buddy list. He said, hey, it's Ben from earlier. I replied, what's up? And we started chatting. He chatted with me as if we were good friends already. I asked him how he was able to get all the tokens he wanted, and he said it's easy when you work there. He told me he was going to come to my house that night with a bunch of tokens. I told him, no, no, no it's no, okay. No, no, no. And he told me, no, yeah. it's fine. You nope. live really close to me anyway. Nope, you don't have to. It's I okay. I replied, how do you know where I live? And he said he followed my mom's van on our way home. I blocked his account immediately. No way. I was beyond scared. I told my friends about it on AIM. Some of them said I should tell my parents or call the police. But I waited. Maybe he was bluffing. Nope. But no, he wasn't. I heard a truck pull up outside through my open window. No. I looked out the window and saw the black truck that Ben guy was leading me towards earlier. I saw call the cops. Get out call the, the cops. And I know he spotted me because he started walking over to my window. I pulled no. the window in and locked it and then shut the blind. By that point, he was already halfway to my window and he was waving no, no, his arms no, no, no. at me. I ran to my mom to tell her. She didn't find it funny, thinking I was kidding at first. But I convinced her after she looked out the window and saw the black truck begin to speed down the road. My mom wanted me to show her the aim conversation, but I couldn't, as I had deleted him off my buddy list and blocked him. Oh, dang. My parents called that the sucks. police, of course. But that was just for peace of mind. They couldn't do anything besides make a report. The right. next day, my mom called the Chuck E. Cheese and asked about it Ben. They said they had no Bens who worked there. There were also no, no. employees matching that guy's description. It's Chuck just e. like the first story. handed the CCTV footage from the day before to the police department for an investigation, which turned up no results. My family never went to a Chuck E. Cheese ever again. Wow. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about those stories. I mean, the third one was just like the first one because um, uh, the guy was leading the children into, or well, the third one, he was leaving them outside, but the first one, he was leading them into a room. But, it's, you know, it's like the same thing, you know. But, yeah, those are some those are some scary stories, man. Some good stories. Uh, let me know what you thought about those. And, yeah, guys, it's been your boy Harmon Reacts. Back again. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you.